What's going on guys, Victor here from Dexter Outdoors and I'm gonna show you how to flay this beautiful Almaco Jack up. This is an Amberjack species. It's one of the Amberjack species that doesn't get as big as a greater Amberjack. But you can always tell an Almaco by their kind of stout nature and they have this really tall raised dorsal fin right there. Now for today's fillet demo, I'm gonna be using a six inch Dexter curved boning knife. And the first thing I do with any fish I feel around the head meat, the soft part of the head meat. I go in, I go around the pec fin, and I go down to the belly, right? Next thing we do, we take the tip of our knife and we outline our fillet. So this is real superficially, you know, you're just making the initial cut to outline everything. We go all the way from the head to the tail. Nice long strides. This guy's super slippery. So now once I got the outline done, I'll rest my knife on the spine of the fish and I'll kind of just glide up along that spine. Okay, I go along the spine until I get to the backbone, which is the bone in the very middle of the fish. Now when you get to this section, when you get all the way to the backbone and you can't go anymore, you're gonna lift this flap of um, head meat up and you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna have to break through the pin bones. Now the pin bones are what attach the, um, the fillet to the rib cage. So you wanna break through those and once you've broken through those, then you can take your knife and go and separate the meat from the backbone And I can already tell this little amberjack or this little almaco jack does have worms, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Okay, now you got a real big rib cage right here. Amberjacks, grouper, snapper have big rib cages. So what you want to do is you want to just kind of glide over there. You don't want to go through the rib cage because you're going to have a real tough time then. So just right over it, tip of your knife down and just continue along that fillet. And just like that. Almaco Jacks can get a bad rap, um, but they have really beautiful meat, real firm, a great fish for the grill. And this is what I'm talking about, that rib cage. You wanna make sure you go over it. If you try to go through it, you're gonna have a real tough time. You do the exact same thing on the other side. Feel where the soft part of the head meat ends. Go down along that pec fin, down to the belly. Flip my fish around. Now for me, I find it easier to go when I'm on this side of the fish. I'll go from the head to the tail, but I'll go this way this time. Just along that spine. Cut right here. And now what we can do is we can just use one hand to lift up, get our knife on the spine, and just separate the flick. And you can always hear when your knife is on the spine and not just gliding through meat. Okay. We gotta break through those pin bones again. So break through the pin bones. We're going over the rib cage right here. Other side of the backbone. Just like that. You got your other fillet right over there. Well, there's your filleted out amberjack. You guys see we did not leave much meat on there. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to skin this thing and kind of clean up the fillet as well. Spaghetti worms. These are found in a lot of jack species and grouper species. Bigger snapper will have them. They are harmless to humans, so you can eat them. But if you don't like them, all you have to do, you can simply cut them out of your fillet. I'm not gonna come out, cut them out yet. I'm gonna skin it first. So what I'm gonna do is I have a, a nine inch Dexter narrow fillet. I like it because it's longer. It covers the entire length of the fillet. 
and a nice narrow thin sharp blade makes skinning very easy. So I like to line my fillet along the edge of the fillet table right here and just work my way down trying to make nice long strides. And if you are afraid of cutting through the skin what you can do is sacrifice a little bit of meat on top of the skin like I'll we'll show you guys in a second and then you won't have a problem with piercing through the skin as you guys see I leave a very thin superficial layer of meat on there because the meat or the filet closest to the skin is where you're gonna find your bloodline you're gonna find a lot of the fibrous material and that's usually the most unenjoyable part of the fish to eat so we get rid of our skin now the pin bones that I was telling you about earlier these were the pin bones that attach to the rib cage. You gotta cut them out. But what I'm gonna do is, since this is a big fillet, I'm just gonna go right down the middle and I'm gonna take out the entire bloodline. So you go on one side, now you can go on the other side. And the bloodline is the, uh, the red line that runs directly along the center of the fish. And when you do that, not only do you remove the bloodline, but you also get rid of the pin bones, which always lie along the center of the fish as well. You got yourself a boneless, skinless amberjack filet. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in either of the knives I used today, six inch Dexter curved boning knife, nine inch narrow filet, I'm gonna have them linked below so you guys can go exactly to the site and see where it's at. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, for liking, for subscribing, and if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll catch you guys in that next video.